Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some four color gates. We have a donation deck here uh, where we're going to be playing just, you know, like kind of a normal gates deck, nothing too fancy about it. I guess there's a, there's a little bit of spice here too, though, but we have two Rhythm of the Wilds to make our creatures uncountable and give them haste because hasty rams and gate colossuses and hydrocrasis and all that kind of stuff is pretty powerful. And we also have an Immortal Sun in here because, you know, gates decks can really struggle with uh, Planeswalkers. And so our answer here to the Planeswalkers is just playing an Immortal Sun. So we got one in the main, another one in the sideboard as well. And that's what we kind of have here. So, yeah, that's our deck. All right, so we have three shocks in here. Shock is just, it's just really, really worse than Shiv and Fire. I'm going to make that change. I don't like changing donation decks too much, but that's just, that's a pretty easy trade where I think <clears throat> for the matchups where we want that, we want the early removal spell. And Shiv and Fire is going to be a lot better because if we play against like Mono Blue here and they play Temp Tempest Gin and we're sitting with a Shock that can't kill it, but we have the mana to kick it with Shiv and Fire, that would be complaining about it. So let's just get these Shiv and Fires in instead. There. But there we go. Four color gates. Let's get started. Epic says, I love gate nonsense. It's fun. <clears throat> it's fun how flexible the shell is to try different builds. That is true. Like, you get to try a whole lot of different things with have like, you know, with having access to four colors pretty easily. Alright, I'm gonna update our deckless command to go with three Shiv and Fire instead of Or the just updating the deck list on Stream Decker. Three Shiv and Fire instead of Shocks. Not a mulligan. No no red mana for Rhythm, but Circuitous Route is one of our best cards. We love to see that. Founder Renewal not doing a whole lot. <laughs> there's, there's not a way to remove those things on the deck boxes. They're going to be gone tomorrow. They're just up today because it's... April Fool's Day. What? So I was thinking this was like a, you know, like a mono red control deck. But they're just playing Viachina Pyromancer. They just have those for the mirror, I guess. Yep, started exactly at 12. Hmm. Well, we did not get that fourth land for circuitous routes, but a 4-4 four -four will have to do. That's not bad then. Not blocking. <clears throat> Cause I don't want, I don't want them to just be able to like, you know, shock, kill the Gatebreaker Ram. All right, they can skewer plus Firebrand instead of just skewer. Plus Viachino. I mean, I guess if I would have blocked, they would have had a Firebrand me to be able to skewer, but oh well. Where are the lands? Crazy.
Opponents asking the same thing, though. They're sitting there with their two mana. It's a disappointing game for sure. Our opponent has two dead cards. And it doesn't matter. I'm just giving my opponent the cards. Guess we're playing this thing. <clears throat> Gaining a life. I, I was pretty excited at first. I thought this was the gate that gained you three life. <clears throat> I mean, that's not a gate, but you know, like that, the Plaza of Harmony. That's what I thought it was at first. Looks like we're probably dead. And if our opponent has absolutely nothing, Can't really imagine our opponent has absolutely nothing. Hey, Punk Priority's here. Okay, maybe they do have nothing. I'm gonna have to go after this game to go grab my pizza. And the dogs will probably be back at the door ready to come in. But. Wrong. Wrong one of these. We only have two gateway plazas in the deck. And of course there's the four plaza of harmonies. Now they find all their lands. With them playing the... Oh, okay. They struck us. So say with them playing the frenzy instead of risk factor, we'd let them be able to draw cards very easily. Alright, one Shivan fires, negates. Clarion. I don't know, Niv? Am I supposed to play Niv? No, uh, maybe not. And then uh, cut rhythm. This is 66. Let me get rid of these guild summits. I guess expansion. 
All right, I'll be right back. Play first. No blue mana. Lava Runner. Okay, that's a good draw. Unlocks our entire hand. Did not. Obviously, did not have time to cut the pizza over there or anything. The dogs are ready to come back in, so let the dogs in. They're good. This is uh, DiGiorno's. They're casting Lightning Strike next turn. I think I'll probably just negate that Lightning Strike. I could pay two life to be able to grow Spiral and negate, but that kind of defeats the purpose of countering the spell. Oh yeah, Hawkeye would love pizza, but he's not getting any. He only eats, I only eat, give him uh, cat food. I don't give him pizza food. It's one of like DiGiorno's like fancier thin crust brand or like lines. I like the thin crust. White land, green, white, and blue, red. It's three green, three red, three blue. Yeah, the puppy can get, yeah. Puppy will eat pizza. I'll, I'll feed puppy pizza. Puppy eats everything. really like to have a creature first before I Clarion and like you know give my give one of my creatures lifelink there we go that helps That's a good turn.
<clears throat> What's our opponent, like, doing over there? Do they just have all lands or something? They're just waiting on, like, the best times to be using their burn spells. Yeah, that was... Drawing that crisis was huge. Children says that's why hockey do don't like that's why Hawkeye doesn't like puppy because puppy walks around yelling she got pizza Certainly a, a good hand for us. Can't ask for too much more than this. You know, we got to just get this fourth land for Circuitous Route, and then, and then we're good to go. Yeah, our opponent is not doing very much again. Just having a bunch of lands. Certainly good for us. We are already looking good, and now when they're just sitting here doing this, it's certainly not good for them. Next turn, I'm, pl <clears throat> I'm planning on playing Route plus Negate, plus holding Negate. Not planning on playing Archway Angel yet. All right, that's the card that could keep our opponent in it. That's the card they need. So this game's not over yet. So next turn, we're getting 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 life. And attacking with an 8-8. Eight, eight. I think this one is finished.
And Joe called it. Concession time. <clears throat> Already went to the con concession stand. And now our opponent's heading there. And four color four color gates with the win. That card is that angel is like so completely unfair against red. I forgot about Gates of Blaze. We didn't see that in any of those three games. Kind of forgot about that card. Yeah, we have the Rob Lowe avatar. Yep. Let's set this board ablaze. We have a, it's, it's kind of regular gates. The things that we have here is we have two Rhythm of the Wild in the main deck and one Ixel, no, uh, one Immortal Sun. That's a, the, kind of the, the car, different cards you don't really see in four color gates too much that we have in here. Thunderbeard, welcome back. The resub for the fourth month in a row, getting our sub battle countdown down to an even 50. Welcome back. Thank you kindly. So is it better to play the Hydro Crisis for four or an Archway Angel? I guess Crisis for four, which I don't need to do pre-combat. I'm going to attack with this first. Play the Summit. And draw three. I don't really like the Shalai hitting me. Alright, I'm fine with playing Summit. Oh, that's true. Heroic reinforcements would be scurry. That's certainly true. gates seriously we didn't draw a single gate and all of that 
in those four draws. Ah, there we go. We drew a gate. How's our opponent attacking there? Just gonna mortify this? No? All right, so Clarion's come in for rhythm. Shivan fires are coming in here too. Dropping a mortal sun and a couple guild summits. And that's it. Keeping that because of Deafening Clarion. And, you know, like, our, our mana is perfect. Two five color lands. I mean, this is just pretty easy keep. In all honesty. In all honesty. I was worried about playing the <clears throat> ram there because it would die to Lava Coil. Then I thought, there's no way they have Lava Coil in their deck, right? Nope, they did. playing against Mardu Control.
Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to discard Clarion or Explosion. I don't think it's one of those two. And I didn't want to play Colossus because they just mortify the Colossus, get it back with Eldest Reborn. I didn't want them to have a Colossus. Now, this is pretty annoying. Resplendent Angel can certainly take over this game because we have Clarion, not Gates of Blaze. If I, if I Clarion it away, they just get it back with Resplendent Angel. So basically, the Clarion doesn't really do anything except for keep my opponent from attacking next turn. I think I'd rather just play the Guild Summon and look for Gates of Blaze. Just draw three cards. This is fine. They get a 4-4. But we can probably deal with a 4-4. So I can play Colossus. I can Shock play Colossus. One card in hand, hopefully they're out of removal, maybe. Alright, like seeing that Gates of Blaze for the next turn. I can pick those back up after a circuitous route. Yep, next turn. You got it. <clears throat> Route to Blaze. And a bunch of Colossuses. And Gates just goes so far over the top of decks. It's just silly. Why don't I enable manually ordering triggers? We just don't need to. I, kn I know, you know, I've played enough that I know that they stack the guild summit correctly. Basically know which, which triggers they stack correctly and which they don't. And we don't need to for this. Kress says, is ranked draft core set 2019 good to do? It kind of depends on your... I don't know, like, what's what's your goal for the, the draft?
Let's have our, our opponent's lightning strike kill him. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You said you, you don't know, but you've only lost once and won five times? Yeah, keep doing it then. Then it's definitely good to do. All right, we are 2-0. Oh. No, I don't do drafts for stream. Drafts on stream. Just constructed. The few I have played limited a few times, not many, but a few times, and each time that I have I've had a, a lot less viewers overall than normal with constructed. Do y'all think this is a keep on the play? If our first draw is a gate, we're doing okay, but if it's not... Um, 26 lands in the deck. Yeah, we work. We can cast summit. We have the, we have blue. Kind of a mixture of keep and mole. I'd say more people have be saying mole. All right. Well, this is a lot better. Our deck is just based on lands, of course. Like that's that's our deck is based on just having lots of mana. Keeping the two lander is tough on that. Send that to the bottom because we just don't have time to play it. We're playing... We're, we don't have a hand that can play that card on turn two. We're playing Guild Summit on three, Circuitous Route on four. The first time we would play that card is on turn five, and by then I'd rather just see like what else we draw. It's un unclear if we would have more lands or not at that point. Templar with a tier one sub for the fifth month in a row. Welcome back, Templar. We're under 50, 49. We're pretty close to some special streams. Get to 49 more subscribers for our sub battle day where we spend all day with myself against subscribers. And Koala Bear also getting that three months resub in there as well. I don't really want Securitas Route countered. Oh well. And then we are... Paul Bear says, keep up the good work.
And then we are one person or placing an order from MeUndies away from doing another 12 hour stream. We're doing this 12 hour stream for the Harry's goal. And um, then a few people with Quip and Harry's away also from another one. This is mono blue with lots of cards. Metamorph. Thank you so much, Metamorph, for that donation for the gems. That is, oh, that gets us to 101. We are buying a gem pack after this one. All right, we're starting over. Ooh, gem pack. Ooh, I'm excited. What are we going to get? I don't know, so many good things to get. What do you think we should get, Hawkeye? So I was planning on just playing Krasis uh, here, but actually I kind of think I should maybe just play Guild Summit Ram. So I missed drawing a card. That's my bad. The yeah, so the problem with so we cannot we cannot change so if we get the gates pack, we cannot change the the lands for the rest of the league. Like the the cards that we're using are um, you know, set in stone for the league. So you can't we can't change it, unfortunately. Careful not to deck yourself <laughs> against the 75 card library deck. Good call. Don't want that to happen. Alright, back to 20. 20 20. Even game. So yeah, next turn we're going to have Krasis for six. <clears throat> and we, we almost got this one there. We just have to ram it home now.
Unfortunately, a blaze is going to deal 6 damage, which is an unfortunate amount for a 6-6 Hydroid Crisis. <clears throat> Told y'all Hawkeye was not going to be too happy that I had this pizza and he doesn't have pizza. I'm not worried about decking myself. We're at 32 cards still. I think we're going to be just fine. Okay. Make him a cat pizza. All right, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and gates a blaze. Just clean up this battlefield. They're really wanting to stack their Siren Storm Tamer for something. Alright, now we don't have to worry about... <clears throat> the Gate Colossus dying anymore. As our opponent floated a mana in response to the Gates Ablaze. That's why there's that one mana floating. Yeah, they, they wanted to sack Storm Tamer. To do something, but the Storm Tamer does, didn't actually do anything. Get ready for game two. Forgot that was game one. All right, Niv, come on in here. Shivan fires, canopies, negates, clarions. All right, I don't know if we actually need all those cards, but those are all cards that are like reasonable against mono blue. Mortal Sun, not so reasonable. <laughs> no, you can only play... You can't play more than 15 cards in your sideboard. It's possible... So, our opponent could just be playing all 75 in the main, and then they have zero in the sideboard, and then you can sideboard out 15 and go down to 60. Maybe our opponent's just doing that. They, like, tune their deck after sideboarding to the perfect 60 they want. They just have them all game one, because they're like, I kind of want all my cards for any matchup. I want to be able to have access to them. You never know. That could happen. You never know. So Archway Angel doesn't match up against Tempest Jin or Adapt to Terramander.
are the other cards I'm cutting? Hmm. I'll just get rid of the gross barrels, whatever. No, you cannot have... No, you cannot have 17 in the main and 15 in the sideboard and go down to 60. No, you cannot. You cannot have more than 15 in your sideboard ever. So you can... <clears throat> if you have 15 in your sideboard... Like, you can't, you can't after sideboard have 30 in your sideboard. You can't do that. Yeah, I don't mind that Ram doesn't block anybody. It just kills our opponent so fast. <clears throat> it is true that Ram's, I guess, not good against Trickster. But besides that, it's great against everything else. <clears throat> yeah, we're just missing our white mana for this Clarion. I think they, they mulligan, that's why they still have, they have more cards here. Hey, what's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for that resub. Oh yeah, War of the Spark looks looks awesome. Certainly really really excited to play that. <clears throat> you know, tons of planeswalkers, I love planeswalkers, so it's definitely my kind of set, for sure. That's a pretty cool animation. I've never seen Time Stream Navigator played before. It's the first time I've ever seen that card played. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't have an answer <laughs> for the what's going on question. I don't know. What do you think of the pseudo enchantment direction that they're taking planeswalkers with that with the static abilities? <clears throat> That's been the, the most surprising thing for me so far from the War of the Spark. Previews that we've seen have been the static abilities for the Planeswalkers. I was not expecting that. I was definitely expecting Planeswalkers with only minus abilities. But every Planeswalker having a static ability was not expecting that at all. Yes, Hawkeye, I like you too, but you don't get the pizza. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'll feed you after this league, okay, boy? You're doing just fine. You don't need more more food. All right, we'll go double gates of blaze. <clears throat> Counter unless we pay two. We will pay two. Do they have double quench?
Trickster would be, of course, a little annoying. Question is, is this the end of Planeswalkers? We, we don't know. That could... You never know. It could be the end of Planeswalkers. All right, we are 3-0. All right, we're going to get the we're going to get our gem pack in between um in between leagues after the league uh, in between leagues. We're going to get a new gem pack and we're going to get some awesome shiny cards. If you're just kind of joining us during this uh, last game, we got to the $100 gem pack. We're going to be getting one. But, you know, like we're doing the YouTube recording right now and stuff, so I don't want to, like, just kind of stop and, and go through and get stuff. And we'll do that after the league. Since we're doing the the YouTube recording and everything. So we'll play the, play the league out. Two more matches, and then we're getting our gem pack. So I guess I should probably get the other three guild packs right so we can have all the sleeves we're missing three guild guild packs right now on the play i'm not keeping this but i think i want to keep this on the draw really like having the gates ablaze deafening clarions in the sideboard you'll find them in the sideboard I can't, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'd be very surprised if it is the end of Planeswalkers. Planeswalkers are just such a good selling item. All right, remember when I said I like the Gates of Blaze? I'm, I'm off that. I don't I don't like the Gates of Blazes as much. Ooh, Lotus Cobra? Yeah, that was a good card. I missed that one too. No lands. Still. And we did not draw a land for circuitous route. They certainly have absorb. I don't think I just throw a guild summit away. Yeah, they definitely have Absorb for how they shocked in like that. Yeah, Esper is still going to be good uh, with the next set. There seem to be more good control cards. You I won't hide from the world any longer. Chaos Theory! Joining in the hype. Let's get this sub battle countdown updated. Forty six. No, no sets are rotating with War of the Spark. No time for a break. Rotation only happens once a year. It doesn't happen very often. It's only in the fall every year. Devious cover up. They didn't shuffle any of their cards from their graveyard back in because they want their Escanta to transform. Let's skip to the good faster. Thing. Yeah, new, new Teferi is definitely good. There are quite a few good planeswalkers in the set.
Man, we did not draw lands. All right, Nagate, Niv Mizzet, another Immortal Sun, a Blaze coming out. Angel out. We just go this. Do we play Crushing Canopy over anything in the deck? Do I take out, like, Gatebreaker Ram for Crushing Canopy? I guess if I'm playing, if I guess, I guess if, if I'm supposed to have Banefire in my sideboard, I, yeah, I suppose this is the matchup for it. I don't, I don't, I don't particularly think Banefire is that good myself, but I guess if we get to a, a spot where we have a whole lot of mana, sure, we can play it and it does something, whatever. The problem with Banefire is it's just like a pretty bad card in your opening hand. Like you, you don't want to see it until like turn 20. Turn 20, it's like the best thing you could possibly draw. But having it in like your first 10 draws is just like a dead card that just sits there. Yeah, and then it gets Thought Erasured. Because it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you need to just draw it off the top on like turn 20. Yeah, I can't wait till we can play the un yeah, the full art lands in here. They did say like whenever they announced the all these other 3D arts that they are planning on doing basic lands as well at some point. I haven't reset Arena at all. We have to do a reset after this. We've been on for over nine hours today, and we haven't had a single. I haven't reset Arena, so it's getting pretty laggy. Unfortunately, with the Gateway Plaza, <clears throat> with it being that land, it just doesn't make sense to Grow Spiral. If I shock in and Grow Spiral, then I can't really play this because I don't have the mana to... And then so I'd have to sacrifice it. So it just doesn't make sense to Grow Spiral. You just exit out of Arena, and you just close it out and reopen it. That's how to reset it. Attack. We again are getting stuck on three lands. I'll have the growth spiral at least. It's not good. We need more lands in this deck. I'm certainly considering letting this resolve. I think my opponent has an absorb here. I don't want the rhythm of the wild to get absorbed, and I do want to draw more land, so I'm just gonna cycle a crisis, try to hit a land drop. To be able to go towards Immortal Sun next turn. I tested them first though, you know, I could have tried to do that to try to attack for more, but I tested them first to see if the like if they you would have used removal spell on Ram, then I would have played rhythm. So 
So what do we want to do here? I think this time we're just going rhythm. Because even absorb here puts them up to four, which is not enough to save them from a bane fire. As long as we get one more land, you know we need we need six mana to cast an uncounterable bane fire. All right, they did not find another answer for the ram. Looks like negating that Kaya's Wrath worked out pretty well. <clears throat> All right, one and one. See how we do here with this important game three. All right, no thought erasure. I want this expansion available for a Thought Erasure. I can, oh, they didn't, they played Godless Shrine and tapped. Whoops, I should have played, I should have played the Guild Gate. <clears throat> I was, sorry, I was, I was just looking at the, the chat thing and I was thinking that maybe I'd be able to get a uh, copy of Chemistry's Inside and counter it. But anyway, yeah, I, I can say that I was pretty right about Rhythm of the Wild. I was very low on it. during the set review. That was a card I was certainly right about. Absorb, Mortify, Teferi, Precognitive, Perception. Those are some good cards. <sighs> Those are some good cards. Get rid of the best one. I mean, the best one, it could be Perception, honestly. It's either Perception or Teferi is the best one. So I'll take Teferi. Uh, Perception might have been the best one, honestly. That's, that's tough. Just a draw three. So many guards.
still. But opponent, I like my cards. So Mortify here means they do not have Absorb Mana available, but they did Shock in. What are they Shocking in for? Is it Negate or Cast Down? Let's go Divination Crisis. Hey, y'all think they have negate? Attack. Circuitous route resolving. Do I just get double plaza? Let's see, double plaza. Uh, yeah. Let's get those out of my deck. We have the extra mana to pay for them. So we could go route in Simic Gilgate and try to have a, a bigger Krasis this next turn. Because right now we're only drawing three with Krasis, but if we wait, we can draw five next turn. So, you know, like, that's a big deal, drawing an extra two cards for waiting a turn. The problem is, is our opponent does know about it. They have, like, the ability with Ascanta to look for th more Thought Erasures. They've only seen one so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for, for trying to get the five cards. That's not Thought Erasure. Hold that th right on schedule. No, that's Thought Erasure. That was bad for us. So at least we have that Banefire somewhere in our deck. We are drawing into Banefire. Hurry!
Keep up the pace. I got this one under wraps. It's basically only Banefire. Banefire doesn't even kill our opponent if our opponent plays it smartly. Either. They're discarding Negate. Crisis! We need to move quickly. So now Banefire won't kill them. I was definitely hoping they would counter it, but now they're going to just go consume. They go consume plus they'd have absorb back up. Need a whole lot more lands for Banefire to get this one done now. Each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. All right, we are three and one. I think the main game that hurt us there was that game one. That game one really hurt. We're never getting a fourth land. We have pure... Hmm, how do we say this name? It's pure... No. Perepker. Perepker? I don't know. Perepker 131 with a donation deck saying, I have some jobs, so have some money. Aw. Thank you. Feel free to mess with the mana and the sideboard. Keep up the great content. All right, will do. What do we got here? Green Grixis. Okay. All right, I'm into this. Grixis with Hydroid Crisis. Here's the deck list. All right, any any particular day and or time of day that you'd like me to play this deck? You know, won't won't get to it today, but you know, like tomorrow through the rest of the week <clears throat> can fit it in kind of anywhere. Um, I guess tomorrow night I have two decks scheduled. So I can do like tomorrow early or any of the next day's night, all the any of the next day nights. But thank you very much for that donation deck. That'll go towards our next uh, gem pack. Oh, I didn't reset. Green Grixis. I'll write that down. Wednesday 3rd. Perfect. That'll work. Yep. That's around, yeah, 3rd is usually like around 7 or so. So that will work. Alright, just gonna write that down. Green Grixis. Third Wednesday. Pure poker. Oh, okay, it's pure poker. That makes sense.
No, I don't think this is my favorite Modest Mouse song. I think Ocean Breeze Salty is my favorite Ocean Mouse. Or Modest Mouse, sorry. <laughs> Ocean Breeze Salty is my favorite Modest Mouse song. Gotcha, cool. Yeah, we'll we'll play that on Wednesday. We'll see how it works out. Grixis with Krasis. I could certainly be a card that that Grixis is missing. No Kaya's Wrath. Just concede, blow up. Just gonna go ahead and draw some more cards with Krasis. Over playing the Gate Colossus. It's not very likely that we draw an untapped land to be able to draw another card with uh, Krasis the next turn. Alright, and this time we get game one. We didn't get stuck on lands. We still haven't played an Immortal Sun yet. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? Dadbot, are you talking about like the the new player experience that it's like just too many games for it? Because I think you can skip that. If that's what you're talking about. So even though we didn't have any gates in our hand, we don't really have anything that needs gates in our hand immediately. I like having trips route to help us get a whole lot of mana out. So much mana compared to our opponent, who's going to be jealous of all of our mana. This isn't a fight you can Should win. be able to kill this Teferi here. Go Rhythm, Haste, Colossus. So, yes, I, I know that... Like, that was the point of me playing the Colossus was to get Absorb out of my opponent's hand, getting a Counterspell out of my opponent's hand. We 
We will meet again. Will we? All right, we have all the mana, and now we're gonna draw Krasis, or Explosion, or Ram, or something. Ram, I'll take it. Haste. Eleven? Owie, that's a lot. No, I'm still just casting that. I don't. I don't want to hold out on hold off on the other route for like whenever they kill a Colossus. I I like just casting it and getting more lands out of the deck and trying to uh, make the deck even smaller with like filled with cards that we want to draw. You know, just take two dead cards out of the deck with the the gates. And there we go. So when one one against Esper, won three of the five games. And it is final boss time. All right, Hawkeye, it's final boss time. And then we get some gems and I'm, I'll go feed you. Where's our final boss playlist? It's not so far away. Stained, it's right over here. <clears throat> yeah, okay, we went on a rampage last game. Our opponent couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle our rampage. Bedevil, Bedevil, Big Slider, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub, get your final boss emotes in the chat, thanks Big Slider, Wait, is this a gates? We got a gates mirror. The final boss is the mirror. Oh, that is Gateway Plaza. That wasn't Plaza of Harmony. Sorry, just everything just out of the corner of my eye. I thought that was Plaza of Harmony. Yeah, so I definitely should have played that last turn. Ever had a, a viewer snipe me during a boss fight? Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Trigger, trigger. Okay, we could use a circuitous route to get our to get more gates to be able to kill this ram. But our opponent's just ahead with having a ram. Yeah, we'll have three looks at it next turn. Absolutely.
But we're not in a good spot here. Yep, not over. We got our final boss you walked in on. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good call. We could copy. We could a blaze and copy. Wait, could I have just done that last turn with this just? cast play plaza and a blaze copy maybe but now we get two rams that's clutch getting two rams with it okay we did not have that last turn okay oh wait i should play the, the guild gate I don't know why I was thinking I needed the extra mana when I did not, but oh well. Negate? Well, it didn't matter. Negate for the opponent. Killer. So we play our own negates, take out Angel, take out Immortal Sun. I do not have a best of one gates list, no. You like Niv Mizzet in this matchup? Why is Niv Mizzet very good? Can't be destroyed summit, is there I mean I guess it kills Krasis also? I don't, I don't think I want Niv too much. <clears throat> what don't I want? I do want Banefire. So then what, what are the five cards I don't want? Am I supposed to take out Rhythm of the Wild? Do I take out Gates of Blaze? Gates seem bad? That, that doesn't tell me anything. A Blaze? Okay. If we go with one rhythm, one ablaze. I'm just, I'm not really. I'm not sure about these crushing canopies, if it's worth it for the guild summit or not. Honestly, I could see us just dying to some rams again and not having a blaze now. Clip says they usually drop a blaze for gates on gates. I definitely like having routes. We'll see if we get another gate before we start casting these routes. There we go. That's a good one. See, I'm not sold on this whole crushing canopy thing. Just 
gonna die to this ram because we don't have the blazes anymore. I kind of feel like we should just be playing a blaze and not canopy. I don't think guild summit's something that you need to worry about too much in the mirror. All right, I need to draw some cards. dealing with this. Bud? Sure. So, I mean, it's good, good hand for the opponent. We uh, definitely had a weakness to gate break, to gate breaker ram whenever we were sideboarding, but that was kind of the the one card that we had a weakness to, you know, like sometimes in those kind of matchups, you could have like a weakness to like a, an early Thief of Sanity kind of thing. And we had a weakness to early Gatebreaker Rams if we didn't have like our own Rams there. I think you just let your opponent have Guild Summit. So I think if I'd play that again, I would keep a Blaze and take out and not not bring in crushing canopy. Um, I think if I play that again. So that was that was a good um, good learning match there. But we did die to the final boss. No extra lives. Four and two. Still a good league. Thank you, Orsonic, for the donation deck here. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to do anything with the Mortal Sun. Rhythm of the Wild, we got to kill a Teferi with at one time. That was, you know, like the second to last match. We got to Rhythm of the Wild people. But that's it. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.